Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro B2. Now this is the new version of the original Saramonic Blink 500. Uh, the B2 is just referencing that it has two transmitters. So there's a bunch of different packages. There's B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B1W, and B2W. So they are all a little different. Um, some of them come with one transmitter, some come with two transmitters. Some of them, the receiver plugs in via 3.5 millimeter jack into an input on your camera or something. And the other ones come with either a lightning port that will plug directly into your iPhone or iOS device. And the other version, the transmitter comes with a USB-C plug that goes directly into Android phones and other devices. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about this, uh, all the features that it has, what comes with it, and basically what it does, and let you decide for yourself if it's something that you would like to purchase. If you do wanna check it out, I've got some links down in the description if you wanna purchase this or just see some more information. I also wanna mention, I have the original version of this too not the pro version. So I will be doing a follow-up video comparing the two of these against each other. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell next to that subscribe button. That way you can be notified when I release that video. I'm actually using it right now. So this is the actual sound of what it sounds like. According to the box, this will work up to 328 feet away, the transmitter from the receiver. Uh, I don't know why you would wanna be that far away from the camera, but I'm sure it will work. I did a previous video on the original Saramonic, which I have as well, and that one went really far away. So I imagine it's probably the same technology and it will go as far away, but um, we could do a test just to test it out. Here's the specifications on the back of the box. So pause right now if you wanna read any of this. The only thing that I want to mention is the battery life is eight hours. So when you open up this box, there's this little box inside of it, which contained all of the wires for the connection as well as charging and had two dead cats and two lav mics. So the model that I'm talking about today is the B2 and the B1 model is the same thing except it comes with one transmitter instead of two. So this package will come with two cables like this. One of them is for your cell phone or your device like a tablet or something. And the other one is to use with a camera, which is what I'm using right now to hook this up. So the difference between them, one is a TRS to TRRS, and the other one is TRS to TRS. Now there's a big difference between them. They, they're not really cross compatible, at least they're not supposed to be. Um, the TRRS, is designed for, as I said, the ones with uh, like a phone that has a microphone as well as a headphone in the jack. The TRS is just a mic input. So on a camera, there's no headphone jack coming out of that 3.5 millimeter jack. It's just an input. Also in that box, it comes with two charging cables. One of them is a USB-C and the other one is a micro USB. It comes with two lavalier mics. And it comes with two dead cats, which are the, these little clip-on windscreens for the transmitter themselves. The lav mics each have a built-in windscreen on them. These are removable. You just pull it off like that, and then you can put it back on. Also inside the box, you have the instruction booklet. Uh, it comes with a couple stickers, the quality certificate, and the warranty card. And then we have the unit itself, which is inside of this protective case. So this is a nice case. It's like um, a hard, soft case. You know what I mean? Like it's not a hard, hard case, but it's not a soft case. There is some structure to it. So inside of that is the charging box. So this is where you store them as well as charge them. So you can see here, I've only got one transmitter because I'm using the receiver and the transmitter right now. I'll show you what those look like in a second. So this case is pretty nice. It's got some like little rubber feet so it won't slide around on the table while it's charging or while you're getting stuff in and out of it. It's got a USB-C plug on the back for charging. So these four dots right here are lights that will indicate the uh, battery level of the case when you're charging it. Then you've got the button to open the case and the button to pair the transmitters to the receiver. The case itself feels really nice um, and durable. I don't really know what else to say about that. 
So looking at the transmitter itself, it is pretty small, right? I mean, fits in my hand. It's very uh, portable. On the top of it here, there is a mic input as well as there's a built-in mic. Now I showed you this windscreen earlier. This literally just snaps on like this and then you have a windscreen. So if you wanted to, you could clip this to your shirt and or your jacket or whatever. And this becomes a microphone itself. But um, I have actually used mine like that before in the past. Now, if I turn this on to show you the menus, uh, you're gonna hear it because there's a mic built into this. You're gonna hear me fidgeting with it. So I'm gonna switch to my other mic system so that I can show you the menus and a little bit more about these. All right, so here is the transmitter and here is the receiver. Now the transmitter says TX and the receiver says RX. So you can tell them apart pretty easily. On the top of each, you'll notice they're a little bit different. Let's look at the transmitter first. So if I flip it over, and on the top, you'll see there's a mic slash line input. This is where you plug in your lav mic. And this is the built-in mic that I was showing you that um, that Winmuff snaps onto. On the side, you've got a power button and that also is a mute button. On the bottom, this is, I think, where the uh, radio waves go in and out of. That's why there's a little antenna there. And then on the other side, there's the set button and that's also the plus and minus. So when we turn it on, I'm gonna be hitting the set button to go through the menu options, and then we can use those to adjust. And there's also the micro USB charging port. On the back side, we've got a simple belt clip here, which is really handy. So to turn it on, I'm just gonna hold the power button for a few seconds. There we go. And we've got power. So right now it's not connected to the transmitter, so it's not gonna show you that there's anything going on. Let me turn on the transmitter real quick, just so we can see what it, what it looks like when they're connected. Uh, see, now it'll show the strength of the signal between them. Um, I'm looking at my screen on the camera and seeing that there's some like lines flashing. It doesn't actually do that. It's just the way that the LEDs react with the camera and the frames per second. And I'm sure there's a way that I could change the camera to not do that, but. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. So, <laughs> uh, it shows the battery level and again shows TX, which is the transmitter. Um, and then I'm not sure what that means. That might be the mic. So when I tap that, you can see there's some audio levels on there, which is pretty handy. And the five out of six, that is the volume level. So let's go into the menu again. I'm just going to hit the set button, which will change the menu options. So that first one shows which version we're using. Uh, the second one is restore to the default. Then you can change the language, which I just have it on English. The mute key, you can turn it on or off. So I have it on. Backlighting mode is on. Input mode, mic in. Uh, let's see what happens. Well, Oh, so when you go down, it just goes back down in the menu. So to do that, I have to hold the plus button, I think. Yep. And then I can switch between mic in or line in. And then hold it again to go back to the menu. And then you've got the mic gain. So if I hold that, I can turn it up or down. Um, actually, it'll let you go all the way up through. So anywhere from zero, which would be off, up to six. Uh, out of the box, it came on five, so I'm just gonna leave it on five. And that is all the menu options. When you click it again, it goes right back to the main screen. Hey, if you're getting anything of value out of this right now, go down below, hit the thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, click that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I release new videos. Now looking at the receiver, on the top, a little different, there's a line out as well as a headphone jack. So what's nice about this is you can monitor your audio. Um, so on a traditional system, you plug your mic into the camera and you just hope that it's working. But now you can plug a headset in here and you can hear exactly what it's gonna sound like recording into the camera. So that's pretty handy. On the side, we've got the same set button with the up and down and charging port that we had on the transmitter. And the same symbol for the radio wave trans 
thingamabob. And again, we've got a, a power button, which is also a mute button. Looking at the screen, you'll see A and B. Those are the two different transmitters. So right now I've got A on and B is off and it shows the volume is five and the battery level is full. Let me turn on the other one too, just so we can see what that does. Okay, so that one now shows that B is on and B is only on volume level three. So there you go. And then the receiver itself, you can see five out of six. So the receiver itself has its own volume level as well. So you can control the volumes of each mic with the transmitter and then the output volume going to the camera from the receiver that's plugged into the camera. And on the receiver, you can monitor the battery levels of everything. So there's the battery of transmitter one, transmitter two, and the receiver. All right, let's quickly flip through the menu on this one. We're gonna hit the set button and that'll show the version. Restore to default settings, language, the mute key, enable or disengage, backlight mode, output mode, mono. Let's hold that and see what it does. Mono or stereo. Okay. And the volume level. And that's it. So the menu options were basically the same except for this has the output mono or stereo and the transmitter had input mic or line in. Okay, so quickly let's look at the charging case here. I'm just gonna drop them in. So there's an RX and you put that in the slot for the RX and these are where the transmitters go, the TX. And when you drop them in, it will show that they are charging. So when the lights on the case are red, they are charging. And when the units are fully charged, the red light will turn off. Now, if we look at the front of the case, you'll notice these lights are not lit up, but if I open the case, then they will light up and there's three out of four lit. So it is three quarters fully charged, the case itself. Now again, there's a plug in the back. So if I plug this into the wall, you'll see that it is now charging. It'll start flashing and that will let you know that the case is charging. Here's a really cool feature about the receiver. On the back of it, there is a clip just like on the transmitter, except it's shaped differently. This is the transmitter and this is the receiver. So the clip on the receiver is actually a cold shoe mount clip. So check this out. So I've got my GoPro here and you can see that there's a mic mounted on the side on the cold shoe mount and there's another cold shoe mount right here. And the purpose of that clip is it slides right into that. Now the plastic on this one is a little too thick, so it won't actually slide in there. I don't have that problem on the original version, which is what I'm using right now with my camera. Um, that's always slid right in, but this one's not sliding in for some reason and I'm not sure why, but it's just a little too tight. It might just be this GoPro mount because this slid in just fine on my camera. I didn't have any problem, but um, it's just a little too thick. It won't fit in that slot but it's designed to be a cold shoe mount to be mounted on top of the camera so it's not dangling, it has somewhere to go. Okay, I'm gonna go run down there and see how far this thing will work. So here we go. I've got it attached to my pocket right here. I'm assuming you can still hear me. I should be able to get pretty far away and you should be able to still hear me. See here. Can you still hear me? Huh? I'm pretty far away. All right. Can you still hear me? I'm like really far away. I don't know why you'd ever. So if I turn this way, the transmitter is pointing towards the camera. So how about now? Huh? Do 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 da ba da be de boo Skip it and da da de boo Yeah 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 
Okay. So there's one last thing I want to talk about. I mentioned earlier there's a built-in mic on the transmitter. So I just want to show you how that works and how the sound quality is. So right now I have the lav mic plugged into the transmitter. If I want to switch, all I do is unplug that. And now you should be able to hear me through this. So if I tap on it, it should make a, you should have heard the tapping noise, right? So you can clip this right onto your shirt. like that. Um, I don't know why you would really do that over the lav mic. This is much bigger, bulkier, but you can. And then there is the dead cat that you can add on very easily. It just snaps on. So that's like what it looks like with the dead cat on. So obviously the lav mic is much smaller and more discreet than having that. Uh, so yeah, you can do it either way. All right. So let me know in the comments of what you think about how this thing sounds. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will be doing a follow-up video comparing this new version, the pro version, to the old original version. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified when I release new videos. Make sure you check out all of my links down in the description as well as where you can purchase this for yourself. There'll be a link for that down there too. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.